Okay guys, I wanted to make this video to talk about Glocks now being fully made in the United States. Uh, before, it was a situation where the frames of the, of the gun, the polymer lower, was being made in Smyrna, Georgia, and the slide, as well as other parts, were being shipped over directly from Austria, and the guns were then assembled in the U.S. and sold. So now, these guns are being completely made 100% in the USA. And I believe that there is a couple benefits in that for Glock. N number one is the export laws on firearms in Austria is so strict that the U.S. is one of the few places that they can export firearms to. So with the Glocks being fully made in the U.S., this opens up a new door for firearms to be exported to other countries and other areas where they could not from Austria because our laws are different on exporting. Let me give it to you in more reasonable terms here and explain this to you. Let's say that you're making a product in New Jersey and this product in New Jersey can be sold in 10 states in the United States. 10 other states they can ship to because of their laws in New Jersey on exporting. Now let's say in Texas their laws are different and if you make the same product in Texas Texas can ship it to 30 states instead of the 10 that New Jersey can. So if you now have this product being fully manufactured in Texas it opens up a door because the export laws are different that it can be shipped into, into a lot more areas It increases sales and increases revenue and that's kind of just a hypothetical thing there for me to explain to you uh, about one of the benefits of this gun being now manufactured in the United States. It opens up a big door for this to be exported to other countries and areas where it was not allowed to go before because of the very strict export laws in Austria. Number two, if there ever comes a time, and there could, where the U.S. has stipulations on, on the importation of firearms, right now already, Glock has to go by the uh, ATF, what they call the ATF import points. This gun has to have so many import points to be shipped into the United States. Whereas of guns that are manufactured here in the United States, have less stipulations on what they have to have. I have a video up on the import point system on Glocks. So being made in the USA, they no longer have to go under the guidelines of that ATF import point rule. So there could come a time, I don't know if it will, but there could come a time in this country when they start making the 380 caliber Glocks. Now, as a collector and as somebody that likes to get new things and different things, I can see a sales market for the Glock 380s. But basically the Glock 380 is on the same frame as this Glock 19, so it'd be the same size. And the smaller 380 is on the same frame as a Glock 26. So you're not going to get any more com compact than the Glocks that are already out there, and you're going to go down in caliber. And it's a blowback design. It's a little bit different uh, functioning design than what all the standard Glocks are. So as far as like for collectors and people who just want something different just to say they have it, I could see a market for the 380 Glocks, but in real life practical application, why would I take the same frame, same identical dimension gun, and now run 380 through it? You know, uh, 380's a little bit less powered, um, so I have no idea how the reliability would be in Glocks um, as compared to other guns. You know, just, just, some, just some things to think about. But those are a couple of the benefits that Glock has as to fully producing Glocks here in the U.S. And I'm glad for it. I'm happy for it. Because it covers a lot of areas, a lot of gray areas. And if anything ever happens in the future, um, if our president does anything, signs anything, and these uh, we get stricter importation laws on firearms, this covers us because now they're being fully made in the good old United States of America. All right, guys, I hope you found this vid informative. Please click like, 
please subscribe to my channel, and I'll have much more info and gear and gun reviews to come. Alright guys, take care.